In this video, I will introduce you to five weapons that were used during the war in Afghanistan. Exploring the critical weapons that have defined Afghanistan's modern conflict reveals a tapestry of technological innovation and guerrilla ingenuity. Each weapon represents a specific period in the war in Afghanistan, reflecting the broader geopolitical dynamics and rugged environment in which it was deployed. Here, we delve deeper into each of these five iconic weapons, uncovering their origins, characteristics, impact, and the unique role they played in Afghanistan's complex theater. 1. AK-47 Kalashnikov Developed by Mikhail Kalashnikov, in the late 1940s, the AK-47 became the most recognized assault rifle in the world. Known for its remarkable reliability in harsh conditions, ease of operation, and low production cost. In Afghanistan, due to its ability to withstand desert and mountain conditions without significant maintenance, it became the chosen weapon of Mujahideen fighters. Caliber 7, 62 by 39 mm offers a balance between range and stopping power. Rate of fire, approximately 600 rounds per minute, semi-automatic and automatic fire capability. Effective range, up to 350 M, although usually most effective at 300 M. The importance of the AK-47 in Afghanistan goes beyond its physical characteristics. It became a symbol of resistance against Soviet forces and later became a staple in the arsenals of various factions within the country. 2. RPG-7 Grenade Launcher Rocket Introduced by the Soviet Union in 1961, the RPG-7 has played an important role in modern asymmetric warfare, giving infantrymen the ability to effectively engage heavily armored vehicles and fortified positions. Its prevalence in Afghan wars against Soviet and NATO forces emphasizes its effectiveness and compatibility. Caliber 40 MMM grenade with a variety of warheads to deal with various targets from armored vehicles to personnel. Effective range. The effective range of direct fire is up to 200 meters, the maximum range of which is about 920 meters for targets in the pre-conflict area. The RPG-7's low cost, ease of use, and deadly effectiveness have made it a key tactical weapon for Afghan fighters, symbolizing the nature of David's fight against Goliath. 3. DSHK 1938 The Heavy Machine Gun Affectionately known as the Dushka, meaning sweet in Russian, the DSHK 1938 Heavy Machine Gun has served in numerous conflicts around the world, including Afghanistan. Its introduction by Soviet forces and subsequent adoption by Afghan fighters demonstrates its versatility and deadly effectiveness in providing suppressive fire and engaging low-flying aircraft. Caliber 12 7 by 108 mm capable of penetrating light armor and providing effective anti-aircraft fire. Rate of fire, approximately 600 rounds per minute with an effective range of up to 2,000 meters for aerial targets. The role of the DSHK in Afghanistan highlights the adaptation of conventional military hardware for guerrilla warfare, providing a powerful means of defense and harassment against a technologically superior enemy. 4. Stinger Missile Game Changer The American-made FIM-92 Stinger man pads changed the dynamics of the Soviet-Afghan war by giving the Mujahideen the ability to shoot down Soviet helicopters and aircraft, challenging Soviet air superiority for the first time. The introduction of Stingers in the 1980s is often credited with hastening the Soviet withdrawal from Afghanistan. Type infrared surface-to-air missile that allows it to lock onto aircraft heat signature. Range. Effective operating range up to 4,800 meters at a flight speed of Mach 2.2. The impact of the Stinger missile in Afghanistan underscores the profound effects of introducing advanced military technology into guerrilla warfare, which is changing the course of the conflict and the future of the region. 5. Improvised Explosive Device, IED, IEDs have become a hallmark of insurgent tactics used in Afghanistan, particularly against US and NATO forces during the post-2001 conflict. 
These IEDs have been deployed in various configurations, from roadside bombs to suicide vests, demonstrating the adaptability and ingenuity of the insurgent forces. Composition. Very different from using military-grade explosives or homemade explosives. Deployment. This can be activated by remote control, pressure plates, or timed fuses, among other methods. The outbreak of IEDs in Afghanistan has not only caused significant casualties, but also highlighted the challenges of counterinsurgency and modern peacekeeping efforts. IED's adaptability and psychological impact underscores the evolving nature of asymmetric warfare. Each of these weapons represents a chapter in Afghanistan's long history of conflict that represents the confluence of technological innovation, strategic adaptability, and the indomitable spirit of its fighters. Thank you for watching.